Welcome to Wachendorf Projector Tool Training. Today we will learn how to set up the basic uh, CAN connection for your project so that you can use um, CAN in your project. The first thing we have to define is the bitrate of the CAN ports that we want to use. As you know, we have uh, two completely independent CAN ports and we can use different bit rates for the two different ports. This is done in the menu communication port configuration. Here you can select the CAN, CAN port that you want to configure and here you can select one of the available bus speeds. I will maybe go to 500 kilobit per second for my CAN1. What you actually use here, of course, depends on your existing system. So you should already know what you put here. The next thing that we need to do is uh, choose the, pr the protocol that, you, that we want to use and configure it. For this we go into communication and then terminal and owner ECU configuration. Now, this is in three parts. One, two, three. First, we, want, we need to select which protocol we want to use on which CAN port. You can uh, combine these ports, uh, these, these uh, protocols freely as you want on any port. So you can select all six selections here and put them all in one project if this is what you need in your, in your actual project. Um, first, I want to uh, configure CAN open. I will... Um, restrict everything to CAN1 because for CAN2 it's it's absolutely the same. I select this here and I click add. And as you can already see, now the middle part has changed. Um, here I configure um, the Opus device within uh, the, the CAN system. So I have a name and an optional description here. And what is important for CAN open is the node ID the default one is 1 and you as the master of the CAN system should know which node ID the uh, display should get. And you can also uh, set um, a time for a heartbeat right here. The last thing we need to do um, is we have to set up an ECU because we always need a communication partner. I will just call this CAN open. ECU and click on add. What we can set up here, let me make this a little bit bigger. Um, we have a heartbeat time from the ECU that we can set up. Very important, we have the node ID of the ECU. Once again, this is something that you should already know. And you can also set um, COP IDs for the SDO communication. You also have events here for the heartbeat timeout. So what happens if the ECU doesn't send its heartbeat? And you have another uh, event for if the ECU come, uh, uh, comes back online and uh, starts the heartbeat, get heartbeat again. So maybe you want to open an alarm problem in the CAN communication here. And here you want to um, close this alarm because everything is working again. Okay, now let's look at the other uh, protocols. For J1939, um, first you have to set up if you want a static or a dynamic address claim and you give your preferred source address. You can also change at least parts of the, of the terminal name um, if this is what you need. Um, once again, we need an ECU and the only thing that you have to set up here is also if the, uh, the address claim is static or dynamic and the source address of the, uh, of the ECU. Once again, this is something that you definitely should already know. Lastly, we have our CAN Freestyle, which is basically a CAN Layer 2. A communication and if you know can layer 2 you know that there is no, not much protocol overhead so as you can see um, the configuration is basically not there you have a name which you can use anything you want and you have a description which doesn't matter so that's it 
and for the ECU it's pretty much the same. You have to add one but in the end it there is there are no settings to be made. So this is everything that you need to set up for your CAN communication. Um, just to just to clarify of course you don't have to to use all of them so if you want to use can open of course you only have to add the can open uh, uh, protocol so only add the protocol or protocols here that you actually need and then you can get started and create can mappings this will be covered in the next tutorial